The 9-11th Air Medical Evacuation Squadron performs training while aboard a C-17 Globemaster III while flying to Colorado Springs. So we have a list of things that we have to accomplish and we have to prove proficiency every, every uh, fiscal year. Uh, so what we do is we look and see who's on crew and we try and tailor a lot of situations. It being the beginning of the fiscal year, everyone's, it's called a MAR, is clean with those tasks that we have to perform. So after we perform those tasks, you know, our, our MAR is finished and we kind of usually roll over to the next year. So it's, it's everything. So anywhere from uh, respiratory, neurological, uh, GI, GU, uh, any type of medical scenario that could happen to a patient in flight, we have to prove proficiency four times a year uh, in flight to, to qualify to continue doing our job. Um, so we're you know, practicing putting our patients, implanting them, and then we provide medical care and we um, run like scenarios the whole time. And then we will offload them we brief before, we brief after, and we kind of talk about what could have gone differently. It's, it's one thing to do uh, the job that I do as a civilian, uh, but to do that on a plane with uh, you know, all the stress of flight, with all of the different equipment, the different power needs. You know, we, we don't have necessarily like an unlimited resources in the air, and we also don't have the ability to, in an emergency, just bring people in from the outside just because we're in a enclosed metal tube thousands and thousands of feet in the sky. So it really does force you to think uh, differently than when you are on the ground. We, we never want to deploy and have uh, a member experience something for the first time when deployed. We would rather them have the training here so they can do it here first so that it's not a shock to them just because when you're down range it's much more erratic, you know, you're in an austere environment, you don't have the things you need. It's much better to uh, have training on those things so when you don't have the time, you don't have the luxury of unlimited safety and resources, you know, it's important for us to do our job to have time where we can be with each other, get to know each other, and, you know, learn how to work together as a team.